going on people welcome back to the channel England knock out the Germans and go into the next stage of the Euros against Ukraine but we're not here to talk about that although I am feeling a little bit um should we say it's coming home no no we won't do that here we're talking about Leicester stuff smash a like on the video please and drop your comments in after you've watched this video on your thoughts of this player that I'm going to talk about that's linked to the club we've been linked to him before in the past but first yes confirmed Social media has confirmed Leicester City socials on Twitter as well as everywhere else and now posting confirmation that we have signed the Zambia striker Pat Sandaka from RB Salzburg on a five-year deal, £22 million, 22 years old, 27 goals in 28 appearances for Salzburg and they win the title on the, I think their fourth successive season. Massive, massive news for the club. He looks a little Jamie Vardy-esque. Uh, when Jamie Vardy kind of first started coming into his own um, at Leicester City. Uh, I want your thoughts on Pat Sandaka. If you haven't already seen it, we do have a montage video in the channel, uh, edited lovely by Winksy. It is in there now. It's about maybe seven or eight drops down in the video upload, so go and check that one out. I'll try and link that in the description of the video as well. Uh, Dakar has scored seven goals in 22 international appearances as well and named the uh, Confederation of Africa Football's Young Player of the Year in 2017. However, just remember that this is, although a final deal, Subject to the Premier League and international clearance. So we're still going to have to wait a tiny little bit longer to be guaranteed Pats and Dakar at the club. But very exciting times. Um, where do we go from here? Does Nacho stay? Do we look for someone else as well? Uh, who knows what's going on with the Edouard deal? That looks like it's done. That looks like that's now done. If we're going to get Pats and Dakar in, Edouard, I reckon it was one or the other. And I think this one's coming. That one's going to probably flop I don't know maybe it will still happen let's just wait and see but news come in reported from one football our friends over at one football are reporting today that Leicester City are making contact with um, a Bundesliga star that Arsenal are apparently linked to as well of Jonathan Tarr now we've been linked with him before in the past uh, I think it was around probably four months ago we was linked to him apparently interested in Bayer Leverkusen defender um, another quality centre-back, basically, joining would usually be a desirable thing, but we've got Kagal Sunchu, we've got Wesley Fofana, we've got Johnny Evans. However, Johnny Evans is obviously getting a little older now. We've lost Wes Morgan because of retirement, so maybe it is about right to bring another one in just to rotate. I reckon so anyway. Um, it would help with the with the European football that we're going to have, so... Um, I would prefer to take in Tarkowski, but apparently 35 million euro transfer target Jonathan Tarr as per team talk and one football. A measured defender who can complete strength-wise and aerially with any competitor. Tarr is often compared to uh, Boateng, a decent compliment by the way that. Uh, furthermore, if the Foxes were legitimate interested as Evans is ageing, Tarr's excellent passing range along with tenacious play would suit LCFC's style. So there you go, a little bit of report from there. Arsenal are apparently in long-standing interest with Tar 2, though it seems the Foxes have moved ahead of the Premier League rivals in the running for this deal as of this time of this video. Leicester may face interest in Kangala Soyuncu in the weeks ahead because of the Euros. Manchester United and Man City previously linked with the Turkish international, but they did bomb at the Euros, so maybe that interest has fizzled out. Hopefully. 25-year-old uh, uh, Jonathan Tarr represents another fine piece of business if Leicester can get the deal over the line. I want your thoughts on this in the comments. Let me know your thoughts on Jonathan Tarr. And also, how do you think Leicester will do if we do get with the, the, the Dakar deal, the Samare deal, and Jonathan Tarr coming in, hopefully? How do you think Leicester will get on this season? Let me know. Your thoughts in the comments. Find me on all social platforms at Lee underscore Chappie. TikTok, twi Twitch, Twitter. In a lot of T's there. TikTok, Twitch, Twitter. Instagram. We're all over the place now. Go and find us, Lee underscore Chappie. Please hit the subscribe button if you're just joining us. 
Honestly, we're here for the Euros. We're all the way through to the final. Hopefully, England get there. Hopefully, Belgium don't get there. And England, as my heart, my heart and my head is going to be like all over the place. Because I got drawn the, uh, if you don't know, and you, you've just joined the channel, I got drawn Belgium in the Don Robbie's sweepstakes. Robbie Love's sweepstakes. I got Belgium. And if Belgium win, I win a PS5. It's coming home, boys. It's coming home. And then you got the PS5. <laughs> it's like... But anyway, enough of that. Less the stuff. Let me know your thoughts on this video. I'll see you on the next one, guys. See you later. Oh, and one more thing, guys. Have a look at this. See what you think. There you go. What did you think to that? It's a Scorpf concept kit brought to life by Scorpf on his website. Sells out fast. Limited edition. Go check it out. Link is in the description of the video. Go and have a look. 20% code CHAPPY20. Gets you 20% off. Go and check it out right now. Click the link in the description of the video. I'll see you all on the next one, boys.